Let's look at an example in process costing. So the question goes, giant manufacturing company does process costing. The company manufactures products that pass through three processes. Process 1, Process 2, and Process 3. The following was obtained from Process 2. So, they've given us the opening inventory. So, transfers from Process 1. From Process 1, they got 2,000 units at this. Then, 100% was to direct materials. 60% complete as to direct labor. 50% complete as to factory overheads. Then, the total gives us this. So, the costs that were incurred during the period. This is opening. This is what was incurred during the period. 1,000 units transferred from process 1. That is the amount. Direct materials, that. Direct labor, overheads, and all that. Then closing inventory. 4,000 units still in work in progress. 90% complete as to direct labor. 70% complete as to direct materials. Sorry, this is direct materials, this is direct labor. 35% complete as to factory overheads required. So, when you look at our question, we have the opening inventory, what was inc incurred during the period, and the closing. So, those are three parts. So, required, we are supposed to prepare process accounts using the weighted average cost and then the first in, first out. So, the process costing, the process cost, sorry, the process accounts are three. We have the statement of production we have a statement of cost and then we have the process account itself yeah this helps this helps us to get this and this helps us to get this yeah so they want us to prepare the process accounts using these two methods. So these are the accounts that we are going to prepare for weighted average, then for first in and first out. So we are going to start with first in, first out. So we are going to have the statement of production of production for first in first out so we have the cost element We have the opening work in progress. This formula here that I showed you, this is the formula that we are using. The statement of production using the FIFO method opening work in progress, then the finished goods. Then the closing work in progress. Then we get the total.
So this is how our statement of production is going to look like. Then let's also draw the statement of cost. statement of cost like that eh? so the statement of cost we have uh, according to the previous to the previous video this is how it is supposed to look like mm? the cost element amount current amount total equivalent even like that so we are going to have the cost element i'm going to have the cost element we have the current cost we have the total equivalent Then we have the CPU, like that. So this is the formatting. Then the process account, it's for process to, process to account. It's going to be like that. So we shall have the cost element. We have the units. We have the value. Like that. Then this side we also have the cost element. It has two sides, the units, then the value, like that. So, here we are going to first have what we call the work in progress, eh? balance brought down. This is like the opening balance. The opening balance that was given to us in the question, this one, the total for here. These were the units. This was the value. So this is the unit, this is the value. So we write, sorry, 2,647. For the process account, these ones, you first copy them like the way they are. Mm -hmm. So we also write these. Direct materials, direct labor, factory overheads. The way they are. And this. 1,000 units transferred from process 1. Like these ones, the way they are. So you first write these. But... For the opening inventory, you just write the units and then the total. Then here you write the whole of this. So process one, direct label like that. So process one. Process one, it, it was 10,000 units. So the units are going to be 10,000. Then... The value is 1.6. So 1.6. Then for direct materials, it is 960. 960. We don't have the units. Then direct labor. Direct labor, it is TB60. Then factory overheads. 
it is 180 like that then when we come to this side we are going to have the closing work in progress and then the finished goods so we have finished goods but we do not have the figure for finished goods but then the closing work in progress so you work in progress work in progress carried down eh? it's the same as closing work in progress so they told us it is 4000 units but they didn't give us the value meaning we are going to find the value for ourselves so let, let's first write the 4000 units you get it eh? we leave first leave the part of the value we are going to come back then how are we going to get the value for finished goods since this is an account this side is supposed to be equal to this side so we shall get the total of this this first is it is twelve thousand so this is what four thousand so we put the bigger figure on both sides so we put twelve thousand so twelve minus four what you get is eight thousand so the value for our finished goods is eight thousand the f sorry the units is 8000 but for the value we are going to come back later so let's look at the statement of production let's look at the statement of production so we have the opening work in progress sorry this is our format so we shall start with process one Process one, we had, um, they say transfers from process one, we had 2,000 units. That is the opening work in progress. So it will be 2,000 units. We put it in brackets since we are going to subtract it. looking for this the format this was the format of the statement of production using the FIFO method so opening work in progress we subtract it we add finished goods we add closing work in progress we add again we loss then we get the total so this explains as to why I'm putting this one in brackets so the opening work in progress, we subtract it. Then the finished goods. The finished goods, it's going to be constant. It is 80,000. The one we got here, the 8,000. Then the closing work in progress, 4,000. Units still work in progress. So it is 4,000. So the total here it's going to be this plus this minus this. So this plus this is 12 minus this. So it will be 10,000. That is the total. Yeah. Then after that we go to direct materials. That is up for multi process one direct materials, direct labor overheads. So direct materials. So according to this opening inventory, they told us 100% as to direct materials. So 100% of these units, yeah, they were for direct materials. When it came to direct materials, it was 100%, so 2,000 units. That's what we are going to put here. So 2,000. We still put it in brackets finished goods is constant then for closing work in progress they told us 90 percent complete as to direct materials so we shall get 90 percent of 4000 where is the calculator so 90 percent 0.9 times 4000 
it is 3600 so it's what we are going to put here 3600 then the total we get 3600 plus 8000 minus 2000 that is 9600 then we go to direct labor directly about the opening work in in progress so they told us 60 percent complete as to direct labor so 60 percent of this of 2000 so 0 0.6 times 2000 which is 1 to 100 so it will be 1 to 100 what is the finished goods value? It's constant, 8,000. Then the closing work in progress, they told us 70% complete to direct labor. So 70% of the 4,000. So 0 0.7 times 4,000. It is 2,800. So it will be 2,800. So that will be this plus this minus that. So it's going to be that plus 8,000 minus 1,200, which is 9,600. Then uh, factory overheads. Factory overheads, the opening work in progress. Said 50% complete as to factory overhead. 50% of these units, it is 1,000. So 1,000 units. Finished goods is constant. Then this, the closing work in progress, they said 35% complete as to factory overhead. So 35% of that. So 0 0.35 times 4,000 which is 1,400, so it is 1,400, so it will be this plus this minus that, plus 8,000 minus 1,000, which is 8,400, so that is our statement of production. like that then we go to the statement of cost the statement of cost so the cost element these are the things that we have our cost elements process one direct materials direct labor factory overheads that is it so process one direct materials direct labor factory overheads so we are getting the current current cost current cost is those are the costs that we incurred during the period so these these ones Process one, direct materials, direct labor. So we are copying just this. So here it will be 1.6960, Like that. Then the total equivalent. So the total equivalent is this total that we got here from our statement of production. So we just copy this and we put it here. So it is 10,000, like that. Then our CPU is this divided by this. So it will be this divided by this. 
so it's going to be 1.6 divided by 10,000 so it will be 160 then this one will be 960,000 divided by 9600 which is a hundred then for this one when you divide it will be 38 and this one will be 21 then after you you add the total this plus this plus that so it's 160 plus 100 plus 38 plus 21. So it is 309. So that is the cost per unit. That is the cost per unit. So we are going to calculate for the work in progress. We are going to calculate for the work in progress so that we can get the values for here and then here. You get it? It's the only thing that is missing. So, valuation of work in progress. So, we do like one by one. Eh? We have for process one, direct materials, direct labor, then the factory overheads. So, how are you going to get it? We are going to get the closing work in progress. This closing work in progress times the CPU this so for process one it's going to be 4000 times 160 for direct materials it's going to be 3600 times 100 like that so it's going to be 4000 times 160 then 3600 times 100 then 2 800 times 38 times 38 then 1 400 times 21 times 21 like that So 4,000 times 160 is 640. Then this times 100, you just add the two zeros. So it's that. Then 28 times 38 is that. Then one four hundred times twenty one it is two nine four hundred. Then you add the total. Yeah. So that plus one zero six four hundred plus three sixty four zeros. So four. Plus six four four zeros like that. So it is one one three five eight hundred. So that is the value for work in progress. So we come here. Here where there is four thousand, the value we write is. So it's 
So it is 1, 1, 3, 5, 800, like that. So, how are you going to get the value for finished goods? You add the total of this, this line. Mm -hmm. So it is 6, 4, 7, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, 600, plus 9, 6, 4, zeros, plus 3, 6, 4, zeros, plus 1, 8, 4, zeros. So it is three seven four seven like that. So this is the bigger figure. So you write it on both sides three. You balance like the way you balance in normal accounting. So you get this minus this to get the value for here. So that minus one one three five eight hundred. What you get yeah so that is how we use the FIFO method when we are dealing with process costing you come up with a statement of production statement of cost and the process account so that is it yeah in the next video we are going to look at the WAVICO method